Prime Minister Nehru treks north across the Himalayas toward Tibet and beyond. His daughter, Indira Gandhi, shares the 16-day journey by jeep caravan at first, as far as the border of Tibet, where Chinese communists give him a red carpet greeting. Tibet was originally Nehru's destination, on invitation of the Dalai Lama, which was canceled on orders from Beiping, following anti-communist uprisings. Now, on a mountain pony, Nero is just passing through on the single overland route that leads to the hermit kingdom of Bhutan. Almost unknown to the West, Bhutan is a small but strategic buffer between India and Tibet, draped over the towering ridges of the Himalayas not far from Everest. Here, yaks are the preferred mode of transport. The country has no wheeled vehicles. Nehru's welcome is cordial, the reason for his visit and the long and arduous trip to counter in advance any spread of communist influence from communist-held Tibet and to offer economic aid that would end to Bhutan's traditional isolation from the world. So far, the Maharaja hasn't said yes, but he hasn't said no. Yeah.